Oh, oh, Sam, hold on. Okay, camera almost fell. Hello, everybody. Hi, it's Shave Nightshade. I am your Sunday host. I apologize. My video was late. I just got off work. I was literally at work all day. Uh, holiday seasons are coming up, so I'm getting a lot more hours. Okay, so trying to hurry to make this video as fast as I can so I can upload it to the channel before midnight. Um, this week's topic is coming out of the broom closet, um, which I don't know if, if anyone doesn't know that what that means in the witchcraft community. That means uh, coming out as a witch to people. Me, I um, actually have a story with this. Like, um, if you watch my own channel, my story, um, for a while when I was practicing witchcraft, I was practicing Wicca first. Um, I had to keep it hidden from everybody, even my family members. I couldn't, I didn't have an altar. I didn't have, um, I, I just didn't have any of the tools. I didn't want to have tools because I knew then they would find out. So most of the times I had to do my rituals outside or... I had to use most of my finger, my fingers and everything for my rituals. So, anyway, onwards. Um, like I said, I was hitting, hiding it from my family. And one day, me and my mom, because I was living with my grandmother, my grandma Boone, and because my family was having financial struggles, and we got into an argument with my grandma. So she threw us out for the night, and we went to go stay the night at my grandma Parker's house for the night. And me and my mom, she lived in the country. Uh, it was very beautiful outside. So we were walking around, sun tanning, shit, shit, bullshitting, talking, and I told my mom, I told her, mom, I need to tell you something, um, and she's like, what is it? I told her that I am practicing something called Wicca. I told her I didn't want to hide this from you at all, because I feel like you're my mom, so I should tell you. And she's like, what the hell is that? I was like, Wicca is, I told her it's a religion, and I explained to her everything about it. Um, but first, I didn't tell her it was witchcraft. I just said Wicca, because I was trying to ease her into it first. And then uh, she was like, okay, as long as you're not sacrificing the cat in the backyard, I don't care. Then a little later on, I told her it was also witchcraft, or I'm practicing witchcraft as well. She kind of freaked out a little bit when I told her it was witchcraft, but I asked her to sit down and see one of my rituals, and I casted spells for her. I even gave her an amethyst gemstone to help her with her fibromyalgia, and it's been helping her, so she's really accepting of it now. My brother, uh, my brothers, they always knew. My friends in high school, I told them eventually, because I started wearing my pentacle out in the open, and people would ask, and I then eventually came out when there was MySpace. I came out and told everybody on MySpace that I'm practicing Wicca and I'm practicing witchcraft. I was no longer too afraid to tell anybody anymore. Um, and I've been out as a witch uh, for... Hold on. I remember I started practicing one month before I turned 16, so it was like... A, Technically, I'm just going to count it to 16, 18, 19, 20, 21. So about five years now. That's how long I have been practicing a witch, being, ugh, have been a practicing witch. And I'm proud. But anyway, so that's my story. That's how I came out of the broom closet. Um, coming out of the broom closet was a little more easier than me coming out of the closet. <laughs> me coming out as gay. Because I was more scared to tell people that I was gay than I was to tell them I'm a witch. <laughs> but so yeah now as also I wanted to include this in my video uh, do I tell people that everybody I meet that I'm a witch not generally especially when I'm at work I try hiding my pentacle I don't want nobody freaking asking me a hundred million questions while I'm at work but it happens anyway because of my tattoos um, everybody at my job knows I'm a witch because I told them um some people are ignorant, some people are accepting of it, but that's pretty much it. My my brain's scattered right now. I'm so tired from work. I gotta go, as soon as I'm done with this video, I'm going straight to bed because I gotta get back up at 6 in the morning again for work. No, actually 5. So, until next time, Mary Park, blessed be.